I'm Sarah Milliman. I am the CEO of RBI, Riverview Industries, and we are a provider agency that serves Ottawa, Erie, Sandusky, Wood, and Lucas County. We do adult day services, um, vocational habilitation, homemaker personal care, group employment, um, among many other things. I think at first we didn't really know what to feel. Um, we had heard kind of what was going on and it seemed to go from this could possibly be a concern to, oh my gosh, now we're all staying at home. <laughs> so we all felt very overwhelmed. Um, and just our biggest goal was trying to make things work for the people that we were supporting and then also for our employees. My greatest concerns were um, our staff. Uh, I didn't want to have to lay people off. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, the people we support, like what happens when they don't have a place to go during the day. We support a lot of people. Some have great needs and some are just um, have drop-ins with, with homemaker personal care staff. So a lot of the attention that they were getting on a daily basis was coming in and socializing, um, getting a paycheck, and then getting out in the community. So I was very concerned about the lack of community in people's lives and um, just the lack of stability and routine. One of the biggest thing was honestly just the access to equipment um, and PPE for our staff. Like I said, it kind of went from, oh, maybe we should get a few more masks to masks are sold out very quickly. <laughs> it was a huge jump. So having the resource to be able to get hand sanitizer, to use masks. Um, I know we, thermometers was a big one. All of a sudden you could not get a thermometer at all. So really as far as that resource, it was very helpful. Um, the SSAs made a really great, they were very quick in responding to needs to um, change plans, change hours um, for staffing, and just really work together to make sure that people were still getting the attention and the supports that they needed. Some of the great examples of the teamwork between um, the board and us were the, the, uh, the bags for our direct support professionals. It was just nice for the board to recognize them and to give them something a little extra. Um, we had one gentleman who received services through Erie County who uh, we definitely had some concerns about how he was going to do not coming to day program, um, not working. Um, and for us, it was this concern because he had come so far and he made such strides. So we were worried about that isolation aspect. And so the board really worked with us and we were actually able to continue to support him in different ways. Um, at a few different jobs that were still open um, and we all worked together to make sure that he could do that safely But it also gave him that support and connection that he needs um, to be successful and I think a lot of people do um, Another great example would be we have um, a person who was looking to come home and didn't have a provider So she had been staying at kind of a respite um, house for a while and even though all this was going on we were still able to work together to look at moving locations to where we had some more staffing available and we're really excited because she'll be moving home um, this week and be able to come and rejoin us again for day services um, and also we'll be able to support her and her living situation.